Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you two methods to create in decals that we can bake directly into our textures. The first method will use the brushes themselves with color alterations. I've got this metal military box here and I want to put a stamp on the top. For my paint textures, I'm just using an albedo and I'm using a simple white 2K texture. This comes with Texture Paint Champ under the Textures folder. In play mode, I'm going to select the star brush. Once I've positioned and rotated it, I can stamp it. I'm first going to change the color. Now I'm going to make a small variation. This is a very simple method to using the brushes themselves as decals. This decal doesn't look very natural though, because the box looks old, yet the decal looks too new. So I can create some variation to make it look more worn and torn. I do this by selecting a grunge brush and going into erase mode. I'm going to use random rotate and I can simply paint around it to start to erase certain parts of the star to make it look a little more worn. By playing with the opacity, I can get a more natural look as well. I can also use a specific graphic or logo for a decal as well. In this case, I'm taking this image of a space dog and I want to put this as a decal into my texture on this metal box. All I've done here is actually added albedo using this specific texture. When I hit play mode, I'm going to see that the texture is not looking right. It's too big. With my preview changes on, I can change the tile sizing to get it to the size I would like. I can also then change the rotation and tiling to put it where I'd like to see it on the box. This looks good. Now all I need to do is reduce my brush size so it's not painting all of the dogs but just the one and then just paint around the dog that I specifically want. This is the one I'm looking for. I don't want to paint over here, I'm just going to paint here. And it's as simple as that. Just like the previous method, I can still add wear and tear 